Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Thursday the 16th of August where I go through just one of our potential stock signals that we give our members every single day. In the members area, we have potential long fifth wave trades on the weekly, daily and the 60 minute time frame. Similarly, short fifth wave trades on those same time frames and also stochastic longs and stochastic shorts on intraday time frames. I'm more interested in long trades today after the big pullback yesterday and the markets look futures so far at the moment look reasonably positive and we may be in for a bounce so I'm going to look for potential long trades on the 60 minute time frame those that pulled back during yesterday and maybe the last two days so in the members area here for long fifth wave trades remember simply for today's uh, download click on the image there and download the spreadsheet for today which looks like this and as you can see there are many, many potential fifth wave longs on the six minute time frame after yesterday's uh, move down. So let's have a look at one of these. So I've gone for MTCH on the 60 minute time frame. Now, this is the Ninja Trader version of our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite at Wave5Trade.com. I just wanted to show those members that already have it here. This is the 60 minute uh, over 60 days. All I've done is I've isolated the bar count right at the beginning of that data series. And as you can see here, it's just measured this real rangy period. And then we've had the one, two, the three and the wave four pullback over the last three days. Um, here on the 60 minute time frame here uh, we've had the 535 pullback and the stochastic pullback but I'm going to go now to the think or swim version and go to set it up just wanted to show you on two different platforms how this looks now how our Elliott wave indicator suite identifies that and let's talk about it a little bit more in the think or swim version so this is an exploded view of that wave four pullback. And this is what we're interested in. We're interested in that pullback against the main trend here. The first filter that we have in our stocks membership is that the wave four pulls back against that main trend to find support into one of our probability zones. The green zone here where we've currently found that wave four low yesterday and support is an 85% probability zone that it's going to go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zones up here in blue. Uh, early days yet, we do need that bounce today. Uh, so we'll talk about the entry strategy in a little while. The next filter we have and part of our early wave indicator suite is that the 535 oscillator pulls back between 90 and 140% during this fourth wave, which it has done. So that's a really another really good sign that this wave four pullback is behaving very, very well. And then thirdly, the stochastic down at the bottom here, you see the, uh, the yellow bar at the top, that denotes a very strong bullish trend. Now what we've done currently is pulled back against there and crossed over in the oversold zone. The likelihood is it wants to go back and return to that main bullish trend. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for that, those pieces of the puzzle that gives us a really good indication how this wave four has performed. And those three main filters are the filters in our data that we uh, send out for our signals every day for those potential fifth wave moves on the uh, weekly, daily and the 60 minute time frame. Again, this is MTCH of the 60 minute time frame and we are looking for a long. So have a look closely at this and look for an entry strategy. So we did have quite a bearish day yesterday in the markets and we did find the low here and we started to move away. The first point of action for us really for an entry today is our 6-4 moving average high, the green moving average here on our chart, part of our indicator suite. But also we have to take, take into consideration the high of yesterday. So we want to be above the high of yesterday and outside of the 6-4 moving average high for the first hour's candle position for today's session. So 48.45 is my entry long for MTCH. The stop loss is below the wave four low and just below the whole $46 mark here. So 45.98, 45.97, 96, something like that. That's where you need your stop. And then also the target zone here is around about 53.50. So as you can see, the risk to reward is one to two into our target zone here. Great risk reward, high probability trade. If this wave four holds that support in that green zone, 
moves outside of our 6-4 moving average high for the first time during this wave 4 pullback and above the high of yesterday we've got a great chance of a good long here into our target zone around about 53.50 so that's it for today a a long potential trade on MTCH on the 60 minute time frame from our Wave 5 Trade Stock Scanner membership using our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. So have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.